Yo, what's going on YouTube? BJ here. How y'all doing today? I'm back with more Mario Party 7. This is part 26 of the Mario Party 7 Let's Play. Now, last time was the last episode of Solo Crews at which we managed Victorious, which was very close because that was so close there. If you guys haven't checked that out, you can check it out. The link will be in the description. As for today, in this part, we are heading to Deluxe Crews where we'll be showing off the 8 player stuff. Hey players, get to join in. It's the bee's knees, I say. Do bees even have knees? No, yeah, doesn't matter. This told me. So, you must share control of when playing with four teams. So, obviously, that goes with the other thing. And the most buttons you use is the L, the regular control stick, the R, and the C stick. So the L in the control stick would be for like the main player, and then the player 2 who's usually a computer, that's controlled with the R and C. So it's pretty tricky though for some things, but I actually remember it took me 3 months to get used to doing that. And between back then it was, it was tough though, and it's a bit tough now. So here... You can be yourself, one character, or you can control your teammates. Of which, we're going to control the teammates, actually. <clears throat> uh, so, you know what? Yeah, we're going to control the teammates. But why not? I, I more prefer doing that. Alright, so it doesn't really matter who we're going to use, but... We're going to use my favorite Mario Party girl, Daisy. And... We are going to use... I'm going to use Toad too, because I love Toad. Computers, doesn't really matter. I just put... Mario and Yoshi. Let's put... Luigi and Boo. I'm gonna put both the Mario Brothers together. And we're gonna set it to brutal. Like I said, this is the highest difficulty of this game. So we got two A player stuff we could do. We could do the A player free play where we just play the mini games that are set for A players. So you know we could play some practice, uh, knowing how to play the game and such. And then there's the A player ice battle. Play against your friends in various A player mini games. So in this sort of, this episode, which is number one, we're gonna do the ice battle. Now the ice battle is pretty challenging too. So yeah, it's pretty challenging. But if you know these A player mini games, that's why they have that other part so you can practice them. So I'll explain the rules. You gotta explain them, but it's your, but it's your, it's, that's your job, so it's worth. Win mini games and reach the center ice to win. Wait, reach the center ice to win. I think it's better to say win mini games and reach to the end, reach to the center of the ice to win. Yeah, that sounds alright. Well, now there are three battle formats to choose from. See, this is the other thing. The formats are the same, but they have a pretty big difference to each one of them. And two of them goes with the third option. A player battle royale pits you against everyone else, a challenge I saw. In A player team battle, you pair up with a chap and battle other teams. In A player combined battles, you, you alternate individual and team battles. Use teamwork to win the day. Huzzah! Oh, and bring me a sweater, will you? <laughs> so he actually pretty much explained them. Okay, so we could do three or five wins. I was going to show off each part of the ice battle, you know. Uh, you know, out of the three different uh, rules, I think for two of them I'll just do three ones, just to show it off. I'm trying not to make this episode that long, but then at the same time it might be long. Choose the battle format. You can't even see your toes, so they can't be. So yeah, these are the different formats. The Battle Royale where everybody's against each other. 
the team battle where the destined team is against the other teams. And the combined battles is where either an individual or teamwork is victorious. So, yeah. Now, since we're doing three wins, I'm going to do it for both the battle royale and the team battle. So we're going to do the battle royale where we'll be against each other. As you can see, Daisy and Toad may be in the red, but... And they may be a team, but for this one, they're one they're against each other. So we're gonna beat three mini games to win. So first one we're gonna play is Bombomic Flag. And I'm gonna still read the rules to you guys. Also, there's a big thing about the mini games. Some of these they play mini games, both of you have to win, or just one of you have to win. So it doesn't really matter. Like, if uh, Daisy wins and it was a team battle, Toad will still win. But since it's a battle royale, she would just be the only one to win. So, we're gonna explain the rules to this. Which I pretty much know, but you guys know. Bama, ba Bombic Plague. Pla I used to say Plaguey, which is funny. Former ring and pass the bomb, 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 bomb to the next player. When it blows, players on either side will lose. So as you can see from the little video, if anyone's on the left or right side of our Luigi, they'll get uh, blowed up too. Advice, when the bomb bu turns red, it's ready to blow. Quick, pass it on. So it doesn't matter who wins this, the last person standing wins. I also like the intro to this one. And the only character who keeps their eyes open is Drive Moms for this one. And also, if you press L or R, they'll kind of do like a little taunt. Yeah, these computers will just hold that bomb. And throw it out. So... Good win this. And you know what? Yep. I know I'm not the only Mario Party person who's got- Damn it! Okay, so, as you can see, Mario and Luigi are a team. Oh, wait, no, I got a team. Excuse me. Well, who's gonna win? Oh! That always is so savage. They just hold it and it looks like it's gonna explode right when they throw it, but nope. Luigi got that one. But, like, like I was saying, uh... When I was a kid, and even some people did this, they would hold the bomb until like, for a long, longer just to, you know, be more savage. Sometimes it works like how it did with Luigi, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, next mini game we got is Gimme a Break. And this one is pretty like, easy but also tricky because it has a big difference for some things. Stop your scooter closest to the course's edge by hitting the brakes at just the right moment. The scooter slows at different brakes based on the weather. Time it carefully and don't fall in the mud. See, he said the weather, so that means that it's not sunny like it shows in the video. It actually will sometimes rain or snow. But you could take a guess, the snow one is the most crazy one, and the rain is also too. Maybe we got the rain. Oh, we get the closer. The time of right. Ah! Damn it! I was too late. See, that's why. That's why. Oh man. That's why you have to time it perfectly, especially with rain and snow. The snow may be the slipperiest, but the rain is slippery too. Alright. And even if I lose this, it wouldn't really matter. Alright, I got Hammer Scammer. I like this minigame too. This is actually one of my favorites since it has my favorite Bowser. In it. The Hammer Brother. Survive the barrage of the Hammer Bros. That's it. <laughs> Watch the shadow of the hammer so you know where they will land. At least he gives good advice right there. But you just gotta avoid that and also don't fall off that. 
Now, me controlling both Daisy and Toad is gonna make it more, more complicated. I'll read it out, and it's this, the big hammers. Now, it can't be a tie now. If it was a tie, with Wario still standing, Wario and Waluigi would still win, so I'll make it a tie. It's not a tie without Waluigi and without Yoshi. Ooh! Damn, Toad got out at the last second. So yeah, Daisy, the Mario Brothers, Wario, and Boo Born. So that was something Toad got out at the last second, which is pretty messed up, but you know what? Um, and also, look, Luigi needs to win this next one, if he, and he'll win this one. Oh, uh, this one, bumper to bumper. This one is a very hard mini game in a player. Bumper to bumper. Hop on the amazing hover car and use it to ram your foes off the edge. When you see a car near the edge, hit it hard. So that means you gotta speed up and hit that thing. And as you can see, the stage tilts. So, you gotta keep a sharp eye on that. And again, controlling two characters? Yes, it's a, it's a struggle. Oh, no, 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 I like the penguins in the background too. And I did love this music too for Ice Battle. Oh god. I, I like this minigame, but it's hard now than it was back then. Back then I used to be so good with this minigame. Shock Absorbers. Oh man. And with, and with it being a battle royale, I can't expect Toad to win for the whole team. And with you controlling your, the good thing about this, every, everybody has the same light, not different ones. So that doesn't mean you have to look at two different screens and hit the di a different light. Alright, shock absorbers, rules and practice. Yeah, this man guy. Punch left, right, and up to hit the lights when they blow. If every light is glowing, duck. So yeah, it's just glowing red as it just showed. Wait, not yet. See, like that? Duck. You'll lose if you fail to punch a glowing button, or if you press the wrong one. So in this one, you have to stay focused and hit the right one. But as the game keeps going, it gets faster. It gets faster in this game. Mm-mm-mm. Starts off slow now, but wait till it gets faster. And with Brutal, they're in sync. And they know. It's getting faster now. I almost fucked up here. Damn it! Shit! And it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. I told y'all, focus on this one. But man, it just be. I, I, it's like I choke. I would say I choke in this one. It's not even that. It's it's back then I did it so well, even on brutal. But now I lost it. <sighs> win or lose, still, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Grin and Bart. So I'm gonna jump rope. Now there's actually another shocking thing. 
In Mario Party 5, there actually is a dual minigame called Shock Absorbers. But this one is very different than this one, so that's one thing. Alright, Grin and Bar. Jump over the rotating metal bar to avoid being hit. The last team with a standing player wins. The metal bar isn't straight, so you'll have to watch it closely. Yeah, you see how diagonally curved it is? And this one also gets faster too. So you gotta either do high jumps or low jumps like that. When it gets faster, you wanna do low jumps. Yeah. And that's another tie. <laughs> another tie. Oh man. I myself a drink right quick. That give me a break again. You don't have to read the rules. We already read. And it's still raining here. All right, we gotta be early for this one. Go. Ah. Well, just gonna fall. Finish. Ah, Luigi won. So that means he won this one. The battle right now. Yeah, I'm a winner. Oh man. Oh, it's fresh. We have a champion. Let me declare the winner for all to hear. The new champion is Luigi. Yeah. And I love there's another theme I like. The mother load. That's what this theme right here is called. And you know what? We are going to play again though. So I'm actually gonna stop it right here. It's already at 18 minutes, so I'll see you guys in part 27 where we'll do the team battle of the ice battle of the Rock Screws. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have an awesome night. Stay safe.